Hi, it's Krista at The Secret Yarnery. Today, we are making these super cute, super easy crochet slippers for adults. I say adults, but they can also be made any size, even for kids. The great thing about this crochet slipper pattern is you won't feel the stitches at the bottom of your feet. This chenille yarn it really, really helps. Plus, we're using a regular six millimeter crochet hook, so it goes really, really fast. We make these slippers just with double crochet stitches, so it is a perfect beginner crochet project. Definitely the easiest slipper pattern you could do. Nothing fancy, no edging, just results in a gorgeous pair of usable slippers. These are great for gifts selling at craft fairs and also really great for schools. If your school or your kid's school has indoor shoes, I'll be sharing with you three different sizes to make, small, medium, and large, so don't worry about that. These are medium. These fit me, and I'm about a 38, a European, or an eight and a half US. To make the easiest crochet slippers for adults, all you're gonna need is two balls of yarn. Now, you could use two balls of just acrylic yarn, or you could use one ball of acrylic and one ball of a chenille yarn or a blanket yarn. So it works perfectly one strand of a gorgeous acrylic and one strand of a gorgeous chenille together. It gives you all the squish you could ever want in your slippers, plus those knobby bits, how you feel like you're walking on um, crochet slippers, they have the little knots in the bottom of them from just the regular crochet stitches. The chenille really helps comfort that and make them so much more comfortable. If you find this helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more crochet tips and tricks. If English isn't your first language, you can click this gear on the video and scroll through to find your preferred dialect. To make one pair of slippers, you will need less than 100 grams of a chenille yarn and less than 100 grams of acrylic. So general rule of thumb, one ball of each kind will give you one pair of slippers. Unless you're making smaller sizes, of course, you'll get more slippers per ball of yarn. You will also need a crochet hook. I am going to be using a six millimeter for this pattern. You will also need two stitch markers if you are a beginner and a needle for sewing in your ends and one pair of scissors. And if you want to follow along with a written pattern, all of my patterns are available on my website, secretyarnery.com. And you don't have to worry about being able to read a pattern. All of my patterns are written in plain English, just like I was sitting there right beside you. Here are the timestamps. You can jump back into where you left off and let's get started. To make your own easy crochet slippers for adults, we're just gonna take our two strands of yarn. We're gonna work with both of those strands at the same time. So just hold those tails over your non-dominant hand and pinch them down on your ring finger. Wrap the yarn around your two fingers, making an X, and bring it around your pinky, just holding it down under your thumb as well. Turn your hand over and you will have a short strand and a long strand. Grab your crochet hook, hook side facing down, slide it underneath the short strand and on top of the long strand, bringing the long strand under and point the hook towards yourself, slowly releasing your thumb, turn the hook away from yourself and grab that longer loop. Now just hold everything on your hook with your finger, pinch what is underneath your hook and bring it through. There is your magic ring. So we wanna make sure we're working over our tail. Chain one, and now we are going to make 10 double crochets into the center of the ring going over our tail. And this is for like a size 38 to 40 European size or a ladies size eight, eight and a half. If you would like to make uh, men's, you will put in 12 double crochets for a large slipper. And if you want to do kids, you'll put in eight double crochets. So for medium size, 10. There's two, three, four. You can pause the video and just keep working along until you have made 
your 10 double crochets for medium size, 8 for kids, or 12 for large. If your tails are getting short, just give them a bit of a pull. We don't want to lose those tails. We want to keep working over them the whole way. Are you enjoying this tutorial? Go ahead and hit this button under this video right now so you don't miss out on any more quick and easy fun tutorials just like this. So there is 10. Now we can go ahead and grab our tails and just cinch that center circle shut just like that. And now we are ready to slip stitch to join. We're going to slip stitch right into this first stitch right there. That is our first double crochet. So just pop your hook in and slip stitch to join and chain one. And that finishes round one. <music> to start round two, so you can kind of make a little bit of a bigger loop on your hook. You don't need it super tight. That's going to give us the height for our next round of stitches. And into that very same stitch, right here, the same stitch, we're going to do two double crochets. So wrap your yarn and into that very same stitch, two double crochets. There's one. and two, and now two double crochets into each stitch all the way around. Let's go into the next stitch, two double crochets, one, and two, and now you can pause the video and keep working along, two double crochets into each stitch all the way along our circle until you get back to where we started. When you get back to where we started, you'll have 20 stitches for medium size. We're just going to slip stitch right in to this first stitch right there. So slip stitch to join and chain one. Now it's a good time to sew in your tails. Just give that a really big pull and now sew in your tail. I like to use these sharp tip needles and you can sew in each strand separately. If you are using chenille yarn, that is not very strong, so I'm just going to sew this one in a little bit just to kind of get it out of the way. So forwards and then back. And the acrylic one, that is the strength of the slipper, so that one I'm going to sew in really, really well. So three times forwards and two times back is usually enough to keep that tail from wiggling out, especially no matter how it is worn or used, and sharp tip needles really help. So go ahead and sew in that center tail, and then just cut off your tail. And that finishes round two. To start round three, we're going to do one double crochet into each stitch all the way along the edge of our ring. So I've done my chain one, so wrap your yarn and into that very same stitch, one double crochet, and one double crochet into each stitch all the way along the round. Just working along one double crochet into each stitch. So you can pause the video and keep working around one double crochet into each stitch all the way around and I'll meet you when we get back to where we started. When you get back to where we started, this is your last stitch right there because we went into the same stitch when we began. So into that last stitch, one double crochet. And we're going to slip stitch to join. So we're going to slip stitch right in to the top of our first stitch, which is right there. We're just going to slip stitch into the top of that first stitch to join. So slip stitch to join. That finishes the round. And now to start the repeat, chain one. Wrap your yarn into that very first stitch, 
one double crochet and one double crochet into each stitch going all the way around. So we're just doing the same row over and over until the toe of our slipper is the size we would like it to be. So you can customize it. I'm gonna do six rows of these double crochets, one into each stitch and slip stitching to join. So pause the video and keep working around one double crochet into each stitch all the way around until we get back to where we started. When we get back to where we started, we'll have that looks like a stitch left, but we worked into it when we started. So we are finished now, and we're just gonna slip stitch to the top of that first stitch to join. So just pop your hook in and slip stitch to join. And that is the repeat. So pause the video and keep repeating that row until the toe of your slipper is the size you want it to be. For me, I'm gonna be doing two more rows. So here's a pro tip. You can always add an extra stitch right at the join. So right before we do our slip stitch to join, you can toss another stitch right in here and that will make your slipper a little bit wider. So that's an easy way to customize. So here is my five rows. We can just count from our center here. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. So our six rows. And here you can also customize how many rows you wanna do for the toe of your slipper. But this fits great on my foot. And now we're gonna do 10 rows, but we're gonna do them a little bit different. They're even easier actually. So chain one and one double crochet into the first stitch, just like we've always done. One double crochet and one double crochet into each stitch all the way around. So you can pause the video, one double crochet into each stitch, and I'll meet you when we get back to our join. When you get back to your join, we are not gonna join. So chain one and turn your work. And now we're gonna work back and forth. So we're still gonna go into that very first stitch, and our first stitch is right there. So wrap your yarn and one double crochet into the first stitch. And if you have a stitch marker and you're new to crochet, you can also just pop a stitch marker into that first stitch we made right here. And that'll just mark the beginning and end of your row so you don't lose any of your stitches. And then one double crochet into each stitch, just like we have been doing all the way back along your row. So you can pause the video and keep working around one double crochet into each stitch all the way around and I'll meet you when we get back to the end of the row, right here. At the end of your row, we're gonna be going in to the stitch here that's on the hill. It's down on the edge. We wanna make sure we get the four strands on our hook right there. So if you tip to the side, you wanna make sure you have your four strands of that V on your hook and we're gonna make our last double crochet into that stitch our last double crochet. And to start the next row, chain one, turn your work, and one double crochet into that first stitch, right there. So pop in that first double crochet, grab a stitch marker, and just mark that first stitch that you just made. And then you'll know where your beginning and end of your rows are. Those are your first and last stitches of the row. And now pause the video and keep working back and forth until your slipper is the size you want it to be. So pause the video and I'll meet you when your slipper is the size you want it to be. When your slipper is the size you want it to be, now keep in mind it's gonna look smaller than it will be because it's going to stretch quite a bit. So for me, I've done my 16 rows, six in the round and 10 back and forth, and now you wanna try it on. So try it on your foot, and you wanna see at the back 
that is how you want it to fit because it is going to stretch quite a bit. So that is the right size for me. I'm about a 39 or a size eight and a half US. So now we're going to cut our tails, but the acrylic yarn or your strong yarn or one strand of your acrylic yarn, you want to leave a longer tail because we are going to be sewing it together. So 12 to 18 inches for that tail. And then the chenille one, if you're using chenille, just long enough to sew in regular. And now just chain one and pull your yarn up and through and snug that down to secure. So that finishes your first slipper. Now you wanna go ahead and make a second one exactly the same. Now I like to do mine at the same time. So I have two slippers. They're easier to make sure they're the same size before we sew them together. So to join your slipper together at the heel, inside it out, because remember we've sewed in our tail here at the toe. So we want that to be on the outside, all of our stitching and joining on the one side. And now go ahead and thread your long yarn onto your needle. And we just want to be looking at the edge of our slipper, just fold it in half. So look for that very first stitch on the side that is closest to you and look for the last stitch on the side that is farther from you. And we're just gonna stitch those together. And again, so we're always coming in from right in front of us and going out away from us. That's called a whip stitch. So in from your side, out away from you, the whole way down. So it's a really strong stitch and we're just going in. It doesn't have to match up exactly each stitch for stitch. We're just joining up each side. Then when you get to the end, we can poke that up a little bit. So from the bottom, you can just go up where those stitches are just underneath all that yarn, and just pull that bottom bit up a little bit. And now you can work whip stitches up your slipper. Now when you get to the top, now we can just sew in this tail. So just back and forth underneath the thick part of our slipper, where we have a lot of our stitches, just sew in that tail. Sew in your last tail, just like that, and now we inside it out. Because this is our join, we were gonna have that on the inside of our slipper. So inside it out again, so cute. And there is your cute little slipper. Now go ahead and do that for your other slipper. And there are your slippers. I am waiting for you in that video right there, and stay hooked.